A family is desperate for answers. Nearly six weeks after the death of their loved one, several vehicles hit the young father after he lost control of his motorcycle and fell onto the road. And none of those drivers stopped to help. And now the victim's family hopes a new sign will draw attention to his case. Good Day's Carrie Charles has details. <laughs> Figuring out what she's thankful for is tough for Laurie Eason. But it's been very hard because um, Devin was a big part of our family and a big part of my life. Devin Eason, who would have turned 22 earlier this month, killed on October 14th, a Sunday night around 10 o'clock. Parents are not supposed to bury their children. That's, it's, that's a pain that no one should have to go through to lose a child. I want justice for my brother, you know, and, and if I know that the people that did it know they did it, and um, I would I would love nothing more for them to just come to terms with it and 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 just it, turn themselves in. Brian Eason's brother lost control of his motorcycle on River Road. He just left home. DeKalb County police say several vehicles hit him and kept going. I never expected anything like this to happen right. with Devin. Friends recently put up this justice for Devin sign at the site where the young father was struck. After Thanksgiving dinner, family members went to put lights on it. I just don't understand how they could hit him and not, you know, not know. And, and it just, it, it baffles me that, you know, nobody would stop and, and, and try to um, acknowledge the fact that they hit him. His family says gatherings. Right here is when he got his first job, he has first job interview. Although nice will never be the same. That's dad, that's not you. Because a huge part of their family is gone. Devin has a family. Devin has, has people that love him and care about him and we're just not gonna go away. We wanna know what happened and who did this to him. Carrie Charles, Good Day Atlanta.